Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. After a few tutorials for Halloween, where I transformed myself into a witch, the Queen of Hearts of Alice in Wonderland, uh, a broken doll, uh, I'm back to normality or almost. Uh, I'm gonna show you in this tutorial how to do this look you see here, which is not very normal. Um, I decided to do something different from usual, where I normally use a light color on the eyelid and then I just blend it with a darker color inside the crease. This time I decided to use a dark color just on the sides of the eyes and then in the middle I used a very light color just to lighten up the center of the eye. On the lips I used NYX liquid sweat in the color Sway which is an amazing lilac lip tint. Um, lots of you requested to use this tint for a tutorial so here I am. I hope you are gonna enjoy this tutorial. It's a, a very sultry makeup Makeup. I find it really sexy and inspiring for a party or something where you want to be very glamorous and fashion. I'll leave you to the video. Bye! I start by applying foundation on the whole face and neck. I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Rattan, which is a really high coverage foundation I love. As a concealer, I'm using Select Moisture Cover by MAC in number NW25, which is a warm undertone. And I'm gonna set everything in place with Banana Powder by Ben Nye. We leave the base for the moment and skip onto the brows. I'm gonna fill them in with this eyeshadow by MAC, which is in the color Brune. You can use any dark brown eyeshadow you have, uh, obviously according to the shade of your brows. And I'm applying it with the 266 brush by MAC. And I'm just extending my uh, normal brow in the end. And then with the rest of the products on the brush, I'm just gonna fill the inner parts then comb them upwards on the eyes I'm applying the rest of the foundation which is left on the brush on the eye just to get rid of any discoloration you can also use a normal primer I didn't use a primer because I'm gonna use this pencil which is a purple pencil by this biological brand which is a German brand called Alverde and we are gonna apply the pencil just into the inner and outside corner we're gonna leave a gap in the middle so the middle part of the eye is gonna left is gonna be left without anything on and you want to do these two triangles on the sides of the eyes Into the crease I'm applying this uh, Nabla eyeshadow which is called circle you can use any movie eyeshadow you have obviously matte uh, I I had to do this um, step before but I forgot so I'm doing it now and uh, you're gonna build your crease according to the intensity you want. Now on a normal uh, pencil brush I'm gonna blend the pencil I applied so we're gonna blend the edges and to soften everything up and now with the purple eyeshadow this is Indian ink by MAC it's always a matte eyeshadow I'm gonna take it always on the pencil brush and I'm gonna set the pencil with this eyeshadow obviously I'm also gonna apply it into the edges so this is gonna blend together with the movie color we applied into the crease and you wanna keep blending now in the middle part of the eyes we're gonna apply these amazing loose pigments by MAC which are called Kitchmas. They are between my favorites, they are really glowy and sparkly and I'm gonna apply them wet. So I just wet the brush and here you have the pigments, you can see how glowy they are. They seem almost like micro glitter really really beautiful with the pencil brush we used before we're just gonna blend the edges of the uh, purple shadow together with the pigments so the look is gonna be more uniform and now we keep blending the product into the crease and guys take your time because this blending step is very very important to have a really soft look now in the waterline I'm applying the same purple pencil I used in the beginning of the video uh, for the corners of the eyes and I applied just some uh, dark purple eyeshadow underneath. Now you want to take um, 
it's just a setting powder this one is from MAC, it's a studio fix powder and I applied it underneath the brows just to clean up this part and highlight it a little bit and you want to blend with a soft blending brush it's time to color the lashes and I'm gonna put a layer of mascara top and bottom lashes and I'm gonna stick some velour lashes these are mink lashes from Canada in the model doll me up which I cut a little bit just to fit my eye shape I want to lighten up the inner corner of my eyes and I'm gonna apply this amazing Nabla eyeshadow in the color Water Dream which is really luminous, glowy and glittery eyeshadow so just press it into the inner part and now I'm gonna apply this bronzing powder to the cheeks and temples and a little bit underneath the jawline as well after this step I'm gonna contour my face a little bit more so I'm taking this Nabla contour shade which is a um, um, grayish brown and I'm just gonna apply to the hollows of the cheeks and uh, on the sides of my nose to make it look slimmer now it's time for blush I'm using Dusty Rose by MAC just on the center of the cheeks and blending it upwards we don't want anything too uh, evident just very very soft color on the cheeks for highlighter I'm using soft and gentle by MAC obviously on the top of the cheeks in the center of the nose and on the cupid's bow now we move to the lips and I'm using NYX liquid sweat lip tint in the colors way which is this amazing lilac tint and before I'm gonna apply a little bit of moisturizer and um, to let it dry I'm just gonna press a little bit of tea And you can see how amazing this color is I love the NYX liquid sweat lip tint and I'm gonna show them to you in other videos so this concludes my look I hope you love it if you like the video please thumb it up if you want share it on your social don't forget to subscribe to our channel which just reached the 3,000 followers and I'm really really happy me and my sister really really thank you for the support you show us I hope you follow us on the other social and I'll see you to the next video bye